Ciao Valentina, grazie mille. Non posso morire! Non morire mai! Your character uses the game as a love letter. Uh, what's that movie that you would use as a love letter to tell someone you, you care? I mean, there's so many like wonderful romantic movies uh, over the years. Um, I don't know. I think one of the most romantic movies that isn't necessarily a love story, uh, like in, a, in the traditional sense, is Field of Dreams. I think it's like one of the most beautiful romantic kinds of movies I've ever seen, although it's not necessarily, necessarily a story about uh, lovers at all. Um, it can come in any forms, yeah. That's a great question. Um, man, what's a really good romance movie? You know, the one movie that I loved as a, as, a, as a kid and still think is a great movie is um, the uh, Keira Knightley Pride and Prejudice. That's a great movie. That was a really <laughs> fun movie. Um, maybe that? Yeah, that'll be, that's my answer, I guess. Oh, gosh. That's such a good question. It's probably not very conventional, but I love I Love You, man. But I feel like that's also <laughs> a, love, a love letter to friendship. Yeah. That film makes me so happy. It's probably not right for this answer, but I'm going to say that. Anyway. Wow, that's a really good question. And I made a movie about 10 years ago called Date Night. And it was Steve Carell and Tina Fey. And that movie was kind of my love letter to my wife because it was a movie about marriage is not easy. And sometimes marriage is boring and hard, but it was also my way of telling my wife, I would choose you every time. And in fact, that's the exact line that I wrote for Steve Carell to say to Tina Fey at the end of the movie. Amazing. I think that one of the main theme of this movie is that everybody has got a voice, even PNG characters. In your opinion, how important is making every voice heard? Oh gosh, I think it's extremely important. I think what's so beautiful about the film is that each character goes on their own journey to find their own voice. You know, I think is what is, for me, is like the biggest message of the film. And it doesn't try to kind of force that onto the audience. It just seems to, to happen naturally. So I think it's really important that everyone's voice is, is heard. And the movie said that uh, that's nothing more real than friendship. Do mm -hmm. you agree? How important is helping a friend? Oh, my God. It's like one of the most important things, I think, ever. I mean, I know how much I lean on my friends for advice. Um, and I think sometimes they're the, you know, the easiest people to go to if you know family is too close um and yeah that is definitely a beautiful message about the film because they all need each other in the end you know they all go on these personal journeys but ultimately they all have to come together to make a change another important team is always trying to look the world with new eyes every day but it's not easy how can we do it oh my god if i knew the answer to that <laughs> um i think What I will say is that is what I love about Guy, because I think you're right. I think as we get older, we lose our sense of curiosity and we stop asking questions and we stop wondering why. And, you know, we stop exploring. And I think that's what's so um, lovely when you watch the film, when you see Guy experiencing all these things for the first time and being curious. Um, you know, and I think that's such a great aspect of Ryan's um, performance for what, what he brought to, to Guy in the film. Thank you so much. You, you've done a great work. I love the movie. Bye. Thank you very much.